My name is Kerry Ann and welcome to Esoteric Technologies Astro Gold for iOS for your iPhone and your iPad. In today's session, I'm going to take you through the settings and by the end of it, you're going to be working with this app like a pro. Now, the first thing that you're going to notice is the cogs up on the toolbar and I'm going to get you to click on that and then what we're going to be doing is we're going to have a look at this area. Now just click on display chart points and start choosing the planets that you want to display on that chart. As you scroll down, you'll start to see the rest of the planets, the points, the asteroids. And as you tap on each one, it will start to appear on that chart. Now the next area we're going to be looking at is the aspected chart points. Now this is a fantastic area to work with and I use it in my school of astrology, Zoom to the Stars. Students discover that they can add and subtract those chart points to make reading a chart so much easier. So this is the area that you can add and subtract those aspected points in the, in the chart that you're working with. Now the next area that I want you to have a look at is aspects. Now this is where you can make changes to the aspects set. Now wheel displays. This allows you to select different colors, the wheel styles, and even a background change as well. You'll probably notice that my chart has actually gone into dark mode. I'm gonna show you how to make those changes because in this area, in wheel options, in, once you scroll right down to the very end, you'll see a couple of other options and I'll take you through that. So once again, in wheel options, we can now change the style of the wheel. I've only got one chart up, so we're going to tap on uni wheel style and I've chosen here the French style. So let's now create a second chart. So just tap on two charts and we can now change that again. Tap onto the cog and go down to by wheel. And we can also do that for the third chart. Tap on three charts, go back to the cogs and scroll down to try wheel. So we're now going to move into wheel options. In this area, we can create proportional houses and we can add and subtract those aspect lines and the glyphs. Tapping on to wheel display and scrolling down to the bottom, you can see proportional houses. Now I've chosen a chart that's in uh, Glasgow in the UK and you can see that the houses are slightly bigger or smaller. So you can turn that on and off. The next area is the aspect lines and we can display and turn off those lines by just clicking into this area. The next area is the aspected glyphs and once again you can turn them on and you can display them. The last area is the shadowed glyphs just to make it a little bit more interesting on your chart. Chart calculations is an important area. This is where we start to make the calculations to our chart, whether we're choosing the type of zodiac system, the house system, the lunar nodes, the part of fortune, the parallax moon, the black moon, the type of progressions, and of course, the all important essential dignities. So just keep on tapping into those areas, opening them up, and this is where you can set up your software program to calculate the type of chart you need to display. Setting up your software program has never been easier. Tap onto dynamic reports and choose one of the dynamic jobs. Now tap onto the word edit. Now once you've done that, it'll bring up a number of options for you to open up and have a look at. In this area, we can subtract and add new charts. This is where we make the editing to any of our charts. Now, still on this page, I want you to scroll down and you'll see an area called extra events. Now, this is the area that you can switch on and switch off 
um, any of these options to make your chart calculate the way that you want it to calculate. Now, once you've done that, don't forget to hit the save button. Now, the next area I'm going to bring you to is your home and atlas. And this is where you can set your home locations. It's in this area that you can set your home location. You can tap on the icon place and you'll find Google Maps will take you to that area in the world. Tap on to country or US state and make the changes there. You can also search for that area as well. Locating a place in the US is slightly different. You need to put the city name and then you need to put the state and not the country. So for this example, I've typed in Seattle as the place and Washington as the state. There's an option to add in the longitude and latitude and you can save this information all in your personal atlas. Exporting a chart file has never been easier. Just choose, click and send. In this app, you've got choices as to where you want to store your charts. You can either do it locally or you can save these up on the cloud. Changing the colour mode on your chart is easy. Just simply click and go from dark to light. And here you can also set it on automatic. Well, that's it for the settings. We'll get you working like a pro with Astro Gold for iOS for your iPhone and your iPad. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and click that like button.